You want the f***ing truth? The man who created Dynamite is also the man who founded the Nobel Peace Prize. But the story behind it is what makes people say, that's mind-blowing. You probably know that Alfred Nobel was the brains behind Dynamite. That's how he made his money. Nobel's life story is almost reminiscent of a situation like Oppenheimer's, the father of the atomic bomb. It all started when a false obituary for Nobel was published. When Alfred's brother Ludwig died in 1888, a French newspaper accidentally published an obituary for Alfred. Uh? They believed he had passed away, and the headline read, The Great Merchant of Death is Gone. Imagine the shock, being remembered as the Merchant of Death. At that very moment, Nobel had an epiphany. He realized that this was going to be his legacy, forever associated with destruction and chaos. So, Nobel decided to take a massive chunk of his fortune and create something remarkable, the Nobel Peace Prize. So today, when you hear the name Nobel, you don't immediately think of dynamite. Instead, you think of the Nobel Peace Prize, awarded to individuals like Barack Obama, the Dalai Lama, and Martin Luther King Jr. Now let's draw a parallel to the Sacklers. They were fully aware of what they were selling and where their wealth was coming from. It's like the Nobel Peace Prize, a brilliant bait and switch.